welcome back to the Fixed Roof Coop channel. It's been a rough day, but it's 2.05. We've been working on the car for a little bit, and we have some updates for you. Clutch pedal is where it's going to go. Pretty much the same thing as the brake pedal. I just made some brackets, welded it in, drilled some holes. It needs to be adjusted up a little bit to probably sit somewhere around there. Where it's about the same. As you can see, the seats are out of the damn car. That's because I had to make the transmission tunnel. It's nothing too crazy. It's literally just box tubing. I did one inch box tubing on top and then across. So I have probably like three inches of travel in the front and then probably two and a half, three inches here. And then side to side travel, which this part shouldn't move that much. And side to side travel for body roll and everything. I got about an inch and a half, two inches all the way around. And then left and right, obviously, this is a non-centered rear differential like we've stated earlier in the build. This is a S10 drive shaft that I kind of just mocked up and just put into place there. The front part, I had to cut it. And then I put a hammer, my little ball peen in there to kind of center it to see where it's going to go. It's roughly where the yoke would be just to kind of have an idea. And I think I have plenty of room. We're actually going to put you underneath here. As far as room, those are cut terribly with a grinder, just for now. I'm going to have to clean these all up afterwards and weld them solid on the back side. There's a lot of cross members but that aren't welded on the bottom part, but I think I have plenty of room. Sorry, coming back out. Plenty of room as far as the drive shaft, right? I have to take the body back off. I'm, I think I'm pretty much there. The only thing I need to do is... Make something for the transmission to connect that part to that part. Just so it has a little bit of like rigidness to it. And then make some sort of mount for the front and weld that better to the body. But that is coming in time because once I figure that out with a transmission where it's going to clear and everything, I am going to lift the body back up off of the car. Now, the steering column can stay where it is. I just disconnect the linkage right there. That can stay where it is, and then with this thing up in the air, I can really get in there and weld the backside of everything. As well as most of these cross members were welded on the bottom part, like when there was nothing really in here, but some of them aren't. So once this is like up in the air, remember if uh, you watch my other videos, I usually put it over there and I get it like four and a half feet off the ground, almost touching the ceiling to get the frame out. I'm going to go under there and blast everything solid and really tighten everything up. But for the most part... My floors here are complete and they are sturdy. I can jump on them. They're not bending, they're not bowing, nothing. So, and that's really only welded from the top portion of it. I'm gonna hit it on the bottom, clean it up real good and we should be good to go. I have to figure out what I'm doing for a gas tank. I was thinking the typical cylinder one, like everybody else runs, but the size that I could fit is roughly a 10 inch round and 33 wide, which is like an 11 gallon tank. Now, I plan on driving the living hell out of this thing everywhere. Why? Because it's a small block Chevy and it's dependable, right? So I need to rethink that because I'm putting a four barrel and then when the blower goes on, two four barrels. So I don't think 11 gallons of fuel is going to be enough, which I mean, it, it really could be. You're just going to stop frequently, but I like to drive. So what I'm thinking is they make those tanks that are vertical, right? They're like, you know rectangles tank but they're up and down like the old 60s tanks that are behind your seat right in the old trucks and they i found one on ebay that was literally just enough from like almost the top of the frame here and it was going to like come right around here so i could build something to come out for the window and cover it to cover the tank yeah it's going to be behind me in the car but i really don't have much room in the trunk if you look closely so it is what it is so it's, if i run a cylinder tank or if i run a square tank the filler neck the cylinder ones the round ones you can get them in the center or you can get them over here same thing with that gas tank it's on the corner so it's either going to be on this side it's going to be on that side my thought was if i get the square one or the round one put it on this side with a filler neck that goes out into this quarter piece here and put a filler neck here or 
something. I don't know. Or just fill it through the window. I, I really don't know. As much as I'm not going to put windows in, I'm going to put windows in. I like the whole red tint window thing, like the old school. And then I have a friend that her mother does stained glass. So I was thinking, this back window here, I think, will look pretty awesome. Stained glass with something in there. Don't know what, but you can see this little piece of steel I have here. It's there for a reason, as you can see. It's nice and straight, right? So, my seat's out of the car, obviously. But with me sitting in the seat, the way I have the seat hip, like hooked up, from the bottom, or the bottom of this to the top of my head was roughly six and a quarter, six and a half-ish, depending on how much I slumped. If I sat straight up, it's like five and three quarter. So you get where I'm going with that, right? I think if I took four inches out of the roof of this car, it would look sick. And then as much as I really wanted to make it as an open roof car, which it's going to be for a little while, I think, and I'm just thinking long run, probably going to put a roof on this thing. I'm thinking, get it running, get the floors in, get whatever interior I'm going to do, which is barely anything, right? Get the car running, get the car driving. I'm going to run this intake manifold, I think I said in the last video, with a carburetor, clean it up good, throw it on that 350 that I have. Get this thing running, like running, driving and see how I like it, like what the quirks are with it, what I want to change, you know, because I'm making, my seats are out of 55 gallon drums, so it's probably gonna, it, it is gonna ride like complete shit, we know that right now. But get all the quirks worked out of it, and then really see like, because this thing I know for a fact, I've driven one of these before, hot rod with higher seats, these things suck. They, they take up way too much, but if you want to run the Gangster Visor, it's the same size as this. So I have things to think about. Am I going to chop it? Probably. What am I gonna do for a roof? I was thinking, going to the junkyard and cutting a freaking roof off of a van and making it work. Maybe an old, I don't know, Chevy Suburban or uh, some sort of station wagon. Something that kind of has ripples on the roof. Food for thought. It's, it's not a definite right now. But like I said, that's in my brain for the long term. My, my goal right now is to get this thing together, get that small block in, get this car wired, get it running, driving, all the brakes, everything plumbed, and then we'll worry about the chop, we'll worry about the body work, we'll worry about the roof and all that stuff afterwards. As far as body work, I mean just patching the rock as far as, as this stuff right here. Just like, just rot it out in this corner here so we're not attached. Cut this out, clean this up, get some new steel in there. Just some 18 gauge, some 20 gauge, 16 gauge, whatever I got kicking around here. Weld that back together, make the bottom of the corner. Same thing with the back part here by the trunk. This trunk is super thin, but I really don't care. I plan on doing like belts or some kind of whatever, guitar uh, case latches, something like that. I, I really don't care. As far as this part, this part is pretty bad. It's not even attached to the frame. So this might need a little bit of love, but at the same time, this is this is Henry Steel here. So I was thinking just clean this part up in here, make something work, come down, tack it in place. Even if I did a half piece here, riveted to it, maybe buck some rivets, I don't know, old school buck, or just tack weld in some things and some stitch welds, something. I really don't care because I don't want it to be perfect. This is the stuff I love. See this right here, that's character. I want that. I want these dents, these dings, the rust coming through. I like the black. I'm pretty sure this is the original black paint that was on this car. But I also, if you remember when I first got it, it had these dumb flames on it. So I kind of want to, when I get this body up off of here again, I remember I built that cart for it. I want to roll this thing outside. And I literally want to sand all the black paint off of it because I have all this like bumpy, crusty stuff here, which I know is definitely rust under here. I mean, this might even be like a bed liner or something done afterwards. I, I really don't know. It's 100 years old. Somebody could have done something to it, right? But I know when I sanded that, a lot of rust. And then I think to myself, if this is the original paint, it probably has lead in it. 
and I'm over here sanding it with a damn freaking disc sander, not wearing any masks, so I stopped right away. But I have my cookie buffer and stuff like that, and I cleaned this part up because I wanted to see some of the, the crustiness, and it gave me the rust. I want the rust. Every car that I see like these are always brown and rusty. I like that. And I have a shit ton of Poppy's Patina, which I would just clear coat it and preserve it. I'm a huge fan of the rust look. I keep getting things from all my buddies. Are you going to make it nice? Are you going to make it nice? No, I'm not. I'm going to make it look like shit. That's what I want. I wanted one of these like that, and I'm going to make this thing look like shit. I'm not even going to clear coat or do anything to the frame. I decided today. I'm just going to let the frame rust. And if it rusts and I like it and it's like that nice orange, maybe I'll put some clear on it afterwards. But I think I'm just gonna leave the frame the way it is. Like, I wanna drive this thing. It is the 26th right now, I think, of March. I wanna have this done by my birthday, July 1st. I wanna be driving this car by my birthday. So I have from April, April, May, June, I have three months, hopefully, to get this thing done. If I can get all the structural stuff done, which is what I'm doing now, I think it's literally just build the motor set the transmission up in the fuel tank, plumb all the brakes, and wire the thing. In theory, after that it should run, right? In theory. But, I know I'm rambling. I showed you some stuff I did. Ending this episode off there, it's just an update on the T. I've had a ton of stuff going on in my personal life, and I apologize for that, but I'm trying to make content because I know I do have some followers that do watch my stuff on the regular, and I get, you know, responses and things from, and to hit me up on Instagram as well. So just trying to make some content for you guys. So please like, comment, subscribe to this channel. I am trying to grow it. I'm almost to like 1,600 and like 66 or 16 something. I want to get to 2,000 followers. If I do, I think I'm going to do like some sort of giveaway or something. But hey, we'll see you next time.